West Coast take the honours in Carlton Draft Derby number 44. The boys to put together a sensational second half effort, running away with a victory. They now sit sixth on the ladder with three tough weeks ahead. Welcome to Eagle Review, proudly sponsored by Masters Benny Roberts. Good to be back in the winner's circle after a strong start from the Fremantle Dockers, it must be said. Yes, yeah, certainly. Uh, Finals-like intensity, uh, really tough stuff, and certainly inside they smashed them early in contested ball for you. And, but it was really good to see the guys respond, and uh, off the back of that pressure, I think the Eagles scored 82 points from turnovers yesterday, so that pressure was back, it gave the forwards a chance, and they kicked the winning score. Josh Kennedy takes home the Ross Glendening medal. First time in his career after his seven-goal haul. Great hands and the accuracy all day was sensational. Even roving some of Darling's contests where he's going two-on-one. It was just great play reading. He did have one of his worst misses he uh, won't want to see again, but deserving winner in your eyes? Absolutely. Uh, seven goals. That's a match-winning bag. And... Uh Good to see JK. He kicked on the end of a few, but he's still doing all that stuff he does without the footy and the chasing, harassing and pressure acts and all that stuff that people don't necessarily see. They just see the big number seven, and fair enough. I thought Prita was very good also. Uh, did you know, here's a little tidbit for you, Prita only averages about 23 touches uh, all time against Frio. That's bottom three in his career in terms of opponents. Blew that out of the water yesterday with 29, 15 of which were contested, as uh, we all come to expect. Four clearances, seven score involvements. He was very good, second in the medal. And Luke Shuey was also very good, very influential, a lot of clearances for him. Congrats to Will Schofield, notching up 150 games. Sensational effort uh, as a now life member of the footy club, a Victorian being basically a one club player. Thought Maine was going to take mark of the year on him for a little bit, but impressive uh, career so far. Yeah, certainly uh, early on looked thrown around a lot, like he was up the ground a bit and back and deeper and half back and dashing and all the things you come to expect. He still does all those things, but he's locked it down the last couple of years, particularly deeper in defence. And I think his game's gone to a new level and um, really happy to see him get life membership. Very handy inclusion when you can get Nick Knack back into the team. Don't know if Ibbotson will agree, copying a, one of the juiciest knees to the back of the scones you've ever seen, but his presence around the ground, I mean, his set shot goal from a free kick just inferred pressure and his ruck dominance and Zach Clark trying to quell that, I guess, and that's just the impact that he can have without winning the ball himself. Yeah, if, you, if you're really worried about being out-muscled by a monster like Nick Knack, these sort of things happen. Often free kicks get paid against. Really nice to see him... Um, Keep the goal and point to the skies, obviously a nod to his late mother, which was really special for Nick. Uh, 25 hit-outs yesterday, he's had more than that. Seven of those were to advantage, so that's pretty good. He'll only get fitter, and he'll, his connection with the mids will only get better, so a base to start from. Yeah, Wellingham said he was quite uh, tongued after his first quarter, I believe, post-game. A tough game for Andrew Gaff, for sure. He's been given the tag. Not often wingers get tagged, Benny, but Sheridan kept into his lowest possession total for the season with 19. Apart from the game, he got knocked into next week against the Power. But, uh, and he's also getting tackled and wrestled behind the play. That's just rare for Gaff as well. But uh, these are the type of performances that he has to expect when opposition like give him this much attention. Yeah, well, he's a quality player in all Australian, obviously, last year. And uh, Sheridan did a really good job and kicked a couple of goals as well, which uh, always worries uh, when a star midfielder's tagger starts kicking goals, it's uh, salt into the wounds. Gaffy would have loved to get one back late in the piece. He worked into it. Um, wasn't his best game. But they're the things you learn. As you get tagged, you learn to work through them, and uh, Gaffy did. Wellingham's foot injury on the day, I, I thought he wasn't going to reappear for the remainder. When he was in the tracksuit coming out after half time, I thought that was curtains, but got some medical attention and was able to play out. His little back tap to Marston was pretty impressive as well, but how important is Wellingham to not lose at this time of year? Yeah, no, terrifically important. And, uh, he said he felt like he just had a little pebble in his shoe and um, sorted it out with the docks, shall we say, and went back out. They actually uh, finished the game really strongly. And uh, his ball use coming out of defence, that rebound that uh, he developed last year when he sort of broke out in that role in defence is super important to uh, the Eagles going back out of defence. Um, I think at the end of the first quarter, 15 rebounds from forward 50, only one of them in, ended up inside forward 50. So using a quality ball out of the defensive 50 is obviously very important and he delivers that a lot. When Prittis got hit at the end of the first quarter by Walters, I thought he had oh. just knocked out one of our best on-ballers yeah. for the day, but luckily the bump wasn't too high. I'm sure Walters is just as thankful. Yeah, no, Prittis is uh, as tough as they get. And you know, brush that little fella off, no worries at all. But Bunger, best mates with Pritta, and thought, here we go, I'm just going to line him up and just remind him that don't you dare go near my mate. Uh, Walters tried to duck into it and milk it for all it was worth, and Bunk said, get out of town, mate. Holding the ball, and a 50 in a goal too, which is nice. Hats off to the skipper, another fantastic game. 23 disposals, 93% efficiency, just using it at a great clip. His goal-saving tackle, that was one of the biggest momentum swings of the game. The Dockers would have gone up three goals in that second term. Marston as well, you've got to give him credit. 79% he's gone at with his 33 disposals. Some great inside 50 entries. Would have been flat that Walters took one of the marks of the day on him with his one hand. I think he was just 
confused as anyone that he was able to take it on him. Jamie Cripps or Jason Cripps, as uh, Jared Healy called him, one of the points of the season from halfback. It's not the first time he's done it. Just busting through tackles late at the end there. Whose point was better out of Jamie Cripps's either of this year or Nick Nats that we remember? Uh, Nick Nat, 100%. No questions asked. Uh, that is the point of the century. I think that, that would have been one of the great goals of all time. Uh, point, Nick Nat, easy. Sure. Whose goal was better out of Lecker and Hillies on the day? Lecker. You're going to short and succinct with your answers here. Lecker. Mm, I like the candy sold though and the, yeah. uh, the composure from Josh. I just, yeah, distance adds a degree of dignity yeah, there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, okay, I'll give oh, you that. I think M. Lecra, number two. Did you know that Darling could handball the ball so far? Sorry, I thought Polly Farmer was playing this thing. <laughs> I just sent him through the moving cars at the other side of the street. And I thought uh, that would have been, imagine that one uh, where Tunner's didn't quite take it in the air. Uh, that would have been, he was almost in row G and just let loose and landed. <laughs> Would have been one of the goals of the year, but uh, disappointing that Tanner dropped us. The wonder Wellingham, was, he didn't break stride at all. It was the accuracy as well as the power that was yeah, so impressive. Goodness. How Hutch got a boot to this ball and didn't get holding the ball is also pretty awesome. Um, I don't know about the rules, Benny. I, I can have to admit on the show, I don't know the rules. Is it when the ball crosses the line yep. and it can come back in and still be out, it doesn't need to land over? Yep. So okay, so if the ball goes over the line in the air, it is out. So the same as when you kick a goal, if it goes in through the goals and then lands in the field of play, still a goal. Uh, keeping it simple for me, mate. Rose to the round, we'll go to a couple of nominees. We've got Piers from Frio having one of the spins of the year, watching the Boomers and the Dream Team yeah. play of late. But his shot goes uh, directly to no one in particular. But gee, the spin was impressive. But we'll roast you. We'll also have to go with Lecker. His forward 50 entry, absolutely horrendous. He may have kicked one of the goals of the round, but this is no good. It didn't quite work out as well as what happened in the Demons game. That's an identical kick, but nah, perfect assist, goal. Nature of the uh, oval ball, I'm afraid. But the winner, Ben Roberts, give it to me. Hayden Ballantyne, uh, we know courageously, some might say, came back uh, with the helmet on. You run to the bench, you know maybe you're going to get a spray, just passing a message. you got to use the phone and, oh dear, what's going on? And he's fumbling with the strap and it, it was just humour. It one was of just the, good humour. One of the best points is where he looked at the phone because he thought the phone was cooked. Yeah. Nah, mate. How's that massive thing on your head going? Yeah. All right, humor. See you next week. Bye. Do you want to be a part of WA's more awesome squad? Prove it. You can win five tickets for you and mates to come to a West Coast Eagles home game. Just snap a photo of you and your other squad members, hashtag Masters Squad, and head to Masters Instagram or Facebook page to get the ultimate fan experience.